Galatians chapter 4 verse 16 I am therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth right and that's and we talking to our people with that here it is you want to take you want to take so-called white man's side all the time but we're telling you all the atrocities that this man's bringing out we're telling you we're telling you about about the kingdom of heaven and what you need to do to get there oh I'm your enemy now because I told you I told I told you that so-called white man's the enemy Oh, I told you I'm your, I'm your enemy because I told you that you need to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments. The laws aren't done away with. Oh, so now I'm your enemy because I told you what the scriptures told you. Get the fuck out of here, man. Y'all people need to read your Bible. It should be completely opposite, man. It should be completely... We, you shouldn't be becoming our enemy because we tell you the truth. According to the Bible, you should be getting set free. This is John 8 and 32. Yep. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Simple as that. And the truth's supposed to make you free. The truth, the, what, hey. When, we, when, hey, when the brothers out here, we found out what the truth was. Hey man, we were liberated. We were like, I don't gotta search no more. Damn, it was the Bible the whole time. Yeah, there was kind of a, there was a point where we had to kind of battle with it a little bit. Like, damn, you know, um, am I really ready for this? You know, am I really ready to give up the world? You know, damn, but this is the truth. This is clearly the truth. These brothers are bringing it out. Wherever it is, we watching the videos. We watch the brothers bring it out. We, ain't, we can't gainsay. We can't say nothing against it. Because hey, everything they say is true. They're going through the scriptures, they're going through the news. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. This, is stupid, this, is, this place is retarded. This place is yeah. Yeah. You got a child wearing a goddamn demonic ass. Yeah. Well, looking like, like a straight serial killer, man. Yeah, looking like a goddamn yeah. Serial killer. But Hey, but, but that's what that's what they that's what their inwards. Hey, cause it, Halloween is just a uh, it's a day so these people can like show their yeah. their inner demons, bro. They, whatever they dress up as, is that's what the demons they got on them, man. That's real spirit. When a, a bitch come out here, asshole naked, dressed like a, 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 a fucking firefighter or a, sexy a demon. A sexy I, cat. I, you know, <laughs> doing the, the, the tax or the Uber or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this bitch was dressed like a, uh, 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 she, I think she said it was a dark angel or some shit. Which is just a left hand, it's a, a demon. demon. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just, and she was like, oh, she was talking to the bitch in the back of the car, talking about, oh, what, what angel is it, Michael? I, I wanted to say something. I was like, I ain't gonna uh, do no, it. Don't, don't, don't. I ain't gonna do it, man. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. You're gonna end up pissing yourself yeah. off. You're gonna be making it real awkward. In hey, there. people <laughs> people dressing up as clowns, that's because they're fucking clowns. They got the clown demon clown on them. Clown spirit on them. Yeah, they got yeah. clown spirit on them. That folly spirit. Yeah. You know, you ain't, you ain't a serious bone in your body. Here it is, you got all this danger going on out here on the planet Earth. And, and we, hey, we can tell you, we can show you, we can turn on the news and say, hey, look, this is what happened today. This is what happened in Iran. This is what happened in Russia. This is what happened in, in Afghanistan. This is what happened in Pittsburgh. People acting like we make, we just come up here randomly one day and just start reading out the Bible. Now we we see what's going on in the world. We're compelled by the spirit of Yahweh Shemuel Hashanah to come out here and, 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 and tell you what's happening. Show you in the, through the scriptures that it's promised. Like that, it's just gonna end up on, on the sidewalk laid out, man. Telling you that great judgment is coming, man. That's that's the that's what a prophet does, man. That's what a watchman is supposed to do, man. A watchman ain't supposed to tell you that everything's fine and dandy, man. That's why you got these other camps going the hell off, talking about there ain't no time of Jacob's trouble, talking about build up Black Wall Street, talking about all that prosperity, doctor. You might as well go back to church, man. Go to the Christianity churches, man. Because that's all you're gonna get out of these these other BS uh, uh, camps, man. IUIC, mainly, all right? You're not gonna get nothing but 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 diarrhea, man. I got something. This is uh, the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 56, verse 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. And that's talking about these, these, these so-called self-proclaimed prophets, man. All right, and, and these pastors in these churches, man. Because a pastor is really another word for a preacher, man. Yep. And a preacher is a, a, a prophet. A shepherd. A yeah. shepherd, man. And, and so, so what are they supposed to be doing? They're supposed to be warning you. T teaching you out of the book of life, which is the Bible. Telling you what's to come. These people ain't telling you what's coming. You go to church and you and you hooting and hollering, singing for two hours, man. Maybe one precept, two precepts come out. Two Bible scriptures get read within two hours, man. That's not what the Lord said to do. To let, the Lord said to warn his people. The Lord said to tell them of the coming destruction. Whether they hear or whether they forbear, man. We ain't not up here for money. We're not up here for thumbs up, all right, or some shares on Facebook. We're not out here for friends on Facebook. We're out here to t tell you that the Lord's coming back to destroy America, man. That's right! It says, his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. 
They are all dumb dogs. Dumb dogs. What is a dumb? Dumb meaning you can't speak. They're, they're, these, uh, a dumb dog is worthless, man. You got a dog that can't bark. What good is that dog, man? You got to put him down. That's a worthless dog. And that's what these preachers and these pastors and, and the churches and on TV, all right, these TV Jakes, TD Jakes, all right, the TV pastors, they're dumb dogs because they're not warning you of the coming doom, man. Because what does the dog do? It's supposed to be an alarm when a burglar intrudes, right? Or he's supposed to protect you. It's supposed to do something to wake your ass up. But it, what, the, the, the chef, or what does it say, the, 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 the watchman, the watchman, man. These watchmen are, are dumb dogs because they're not telling you a damn thing that's coming. It says, they cannot bark. Yeah. Sleeping, lying down, loving the slumber. Yeah, loving the slumber because they're in gross darkness too, man. And if they do know this truth, they're still in gross darkness because they're not, they're not barking. They're not warning the people of what's to come. They're not telling you that your, your, your 401k is going to be destroyed in the nuclear missiles. <laughs> They're not telling you that your sweet beloved car is going to be destroyed in the missiles. That your own soul is going to be burning in those missiles, man. Great pain, man. A time like no other is what we're talking about. What are they talking about in the churches? Prosperity. Win the lottery. Go play. Go, go get 10 lottery tickets. Maybe you'll get a billion dollars. Come on, man. That's that's a false reality. That's fantasy. What? Um, you got yeah. Get that Thessalonians five one. All right, this is First Thess Thessalonians chapter five verse one, and it reads, "But of the time and the season, brethren, brethren, you have no need that I have right to." Hold on. I uh, read it again. All right, so, uh, this is First Thessalonians chapter five verse one. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Because we already been watching. Yeah. There's no need for it. For, it's like, here, we, here it is. We shouldn't even be talking about things that are happening. Because <laughs> you can fucking see them. Blatant. <laughs> it's fucking blatant, bro. You don't need to talk right on to us. Us, especially us. Yeah. Go ahead. For, for yourselves know perfectly and that the day of the Lord so cometh as there in the night as a thief in the night I'm God, sorry. yeah God. so because we know we, wait, read that again that verse 2 all right this is first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 2 for yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so coming as a thief in the night right so we know that the Lord comes is, is, is about to come as a thief in the night we know that because what we're the watchman and the watchman is always on on duty the watchmen are always on duty all right hey like the like I just read it and the brother just broke down these other watchmen look like dumb dogs. They're not watching. They ain't, they ain't watching to, to warn the flock, to, to warn, the, to warn the, the, the pastors, the pasture. Okay? We are. So we're up. We up at night. We watching. We are, we're looking out the window like Malcolm X, man. With, with you know, with, with the proverbial shotgun on our hand. All right? Our AK, whatever you have. Okay? But that, our, our weapon is the uh, Holy Scriptures. All right? We don't need nothing carnal. We're watching. We're watching. Spiritually, watching the science, the spiritual science is what? We're measuring the time diligently, like I said in 2nd Edges chapter 9. We're measuring the time diligently. So, we understand that the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night, but He's not going to come as a thief on us. He's not going to come as a thief on those that are sincerely and diligently watching. He's going to come as a thief onto the rest of you people, and actually He's going to sell you. Go ahead. Verse 3. For when thou shalt save peace and safety. Uh, safety. Safety. So uh, then suddenly destruction cometh upon them. Right, it says, it says, uh, when it shall save peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them. Because if you turn around, you look at this world, these people walking around in here, they're in they're in they're in a um in a vibration of peace and safety. You ask Donald Trump and you know, how's your come? How's our how's our military? How's our Our national defense. Oh, we're safe. America's safe. We don't gotta worry about it. We got the best military. Yeah, yeah. All right, you don't need to worry about that. So the re the rest of the populace of America, they're like, well, hey, the president's nothing to worry about. Gets nothing to worry about. Let's go out for Halloween, baby. Hey, when you shall say peace and safety, that's when sudden destruction shall come upon you. And when and what do the people say right now? Oh, you guys are preaching hate. You, we should be preaching love and peace. Well, that's that's when the Lord said when people want to see peace, that's when he's gonna bring destruction. 
<laughs> and what does everybody want to see right now? They want to see peace in the Middle East. They want to see peace with North Korea, peace with Russia, peace with in America itself, because America's divided. People want peace. Well, guess what? There's no peace coming until the nuclear missiles drop. That's right. That's until right. World War III happens. Yeah. Go ahead. As travel upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Yeah, as travail upon a woman. Travail. Yeah. Because because basically it's likening it down to it's likening it down to a woman giving birth, uh, having birth pains. All right, screaming at the top of her lungs, pushing that baby up. Because the women are under the curse too. All right, they're on the turf. They give. They they give, They're having babies in pain. So we're. So, so I'm done. I'm done. Let's pack up and go. <laughs> nigga dressed up as a goddamn tiger. That's this car too. Huh? I'm finished. Yeah. Because nigga, yeah, nigga dressed up. Right. Uh, I'm done, bro. <laughs> See, hey, but what they want peace because they out here having a good old time, mm -hmm. jolly old time. Like it's it's. Hey, what's it? What's that new saying? Not a YOLO. It's not a YOLO oh, anymore. It's a uh, oh, live their best, best life. Yeah, live <laughs> best life. And that's what they want. They just want to live their best life. Have and peace. That's the Edomite's title. He said you are the taco people, so you go eat prayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, taco. yeah you, you playing against, you playing to the stereotype. Hard, hard shell taco and shit. Yeah, 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 this girl don't eat hard shell tacos. Don't yeah, you eat you know, corn tortillas, man, and yeah. shit. Come on, man. What the hell? Come on, bro. They you, you, you're feeding yeah. into the goddamn stereotype for Esau, man. You bought that from the store. Fucking you paid money for that. God damn. You let your parents let you out of the house like that. They, they deserve death, man. Not the kid. He don't know no better. His parents deserve death, man. Fucking morons. This place is full of imbeciles, man. Uh, but again, um, read that part again. To, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I got a quick preset yeah, hold that. to go with that when yep. you finish. Okay. Um, read um, uh, to reveal upon the woman child again. Okay. Verse 3. Just read verse 3. This is Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3 and it reads For when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman a hey, child right. and said, they shall not escape it, it says sudden destruction sudden meaning it's going to come out of nowhere man like like these people that were in the synagogues over there probably doing uh, the welling wall bull shit, oh yeah come know? It came upon them suddenly. All right, those those, those Jakes, that nigga church over there in Virginia was it Virginia? Uh, uh, South Carolina. South Carolina, yeah. where Esau ran in there with the with the automatic. Sure. That came upon them suddenly, man. So when the Lord brings His judgment, it's gonna come upon these people suddenly, man. Cause they're 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 in, in La La Land, have no idea what's going on. Even though I'm pretty sure they, even though they seen this shit on the news this morning, it's because it's been blasted all day. All week they've been talking about how the bomb, the pipe bombs and shit. All right, uh, niggas got killed this morning. Motherfuckers dying every day. You just go to your local news. What? They out here. They out here celebrating Halloween. I, I guarantee you, in about an hour. What time is it? In about a, another hour, that Hooters is gonna be packed. All right. They, I think they have a hockey game tonight. All right, there, there, probably who, parties down here, Halloween parties down here tonight. All kind of stupid, moronic events. All right, people are just in, uh, living in bliss, man. Because what they say, uh, uh, ignorance is bliss. That's what it is. They're just living in ignorance because a uh, 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 false reality is better than cold hard facts, man. Full sense of security. Yep. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and their and their folly is that full sense of security. Now, what they believe is. That's why they say fake it till you make it, because they, they ju they'll just lie to themselves until they feel good about themselves or feel comfortable in this society, man. And the scripture is saying they shall not escape that sudden destruction. So there's really no escape. You're already, you're already slated for, for death. As a woman in travail, uh, once a, when, a, when a bitch goes into her labor pains, she can't just, uh, nah, you know postpone what, it. I'm going I'm to I'm postpone that or I'm going to skip over that. No, she's going to have to go through it. It's going to be long and painful. And then... Then the baby will come, which is gonna, be, which is gonna be the kingdom, man. And that's what we're leading up to: those, those contractions, those birth pains, the travail. Hey, that's what it's leading up to: the, the, the kingdom of heaven. Uh, yeah, please up right. Okay. Uh, this is Ezekiel chapter seven, verse twenty-five. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Woo. Destruction cometh, and they, who's gonna seek peace? The ones that, the ones that are calling for peace right now, because. The, they, 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 they think they're, they're in peace right now. So when destruction starts coming, they're going to be seeking it 
Oh, when there's when there's when there's martial law troops out here, we keep talking about martial law. Yeah, we keep talking about martial law. It's gonna come. When those days start coming, you're gonna be seeking peace. And what does it say? You shall not come. This is Ezekiel chapter seven, verse twenty-five. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. And there shall be none. <laughs> you know how scary that is. You know how you know. Oh my goodness! You here it is. You lose all hope. Here it is. You you have a a, a small sparkle of hope of that, that that peace is gonna come. That your God is gonna save you. Your God is gonna save you. But here it is. You've been living in folly. All right. Getting married. All right. Going on vacations and trips. Spending money. Being being evil. Living the best life they can. <laughs> living the best life you could possibly can in America. Doing it, doing it up, living it up. Going to going to Cancun, going to the Poconos, going to Vegas, all right? And then coming back home, going to work, taking that money, going out to the club, making it rain. A lot of y'all niggas do that shit, bro. Guess what? When that day comes, when that hell comes, you're going to be seeking peace. And guess what? You're not going to find it. But we've been telling you, we've been telling you, you've, got, you've gotten a fair warning. I must say, all you people out here have gotten a fair warning about the destruction that's about to come. Whether you just pass by, you you know, on your phone walking by, you know, you hear the prophecies come out, you just pass by. Hey, that's a fair warning. You could have stopped and listened a little bit more. Here it is. You see all these uh, so-called black people with beards, and, you know, Hispanics, you know, with beards reading the Bible. That don't that don't like stir nothing up in you. That don't stir up your pure mind because you don't got a pure mind. All right, you have a pure mind of evil, so your mind has already been stirred up by the world. So when this when it comes, don't come crying to the Most High. Asking for, please God, please God, because he ain't going to hear you. All that Lord, Lord shit, he ain't going to hear you in that day. All right, he's actually going to send his men out there to laugh at you. He's going to send his men out specifically to laugh at you, because you you forbear. What's your name? Uh, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, going back to the watchman, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. And we're not talking about those fake gutter rats that just got shot up today, all right? We're talking about the true children of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. Right? So that man, that, 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 Walk by, you know, here it is, you know the truth. You know, but you don't say, what did it say? You didn't say nothing, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you didn't warn him. You didn't warn him, right? That, okay, that same man that walked by you, you know the truth. Here it is, he's being wicked. You didn't tell him that he's being wicked. You didn't warn him today, hey, you know, you should stop that. You know, most I said, you know. You didn't tell him nothing, so guess what? He says, that same man shall die in his iniquity. Go ahead. But his blood will I require at thine hand. Right, so in other words, you're gonna have to die. Yeah, he's gonna die. Yeah, obviously he's gonna die, he's being wicked. Yeah, he's wicked. Yeah, he's wicked. He's but he's gonna die with him. You know, <laughs> and it's really not his fault because nobody told him. Nah, exactly. But he still don't well, he still give him a die. pass. Yeah, he still yeah. give him a pass to get into the kingdom yeah, of heaven. Hey, the, the, the Lord didn't give us a license to sin, so just because you don't know you're speeding, doesn't mean the cop not gonna get you a ticket. That's oh, right. I didn't know the speed limit. Well, you're still getting a ticket, huh? you know? He, he may give you a warning if you didn't know. Yeah. You may give you a warning. This is the warning. So when you pass by the camp, it's the warning. You get a warning notice, all right? Yeah. You know, you didn't know, obviously. You know, but it's the warning. You know, next time, you know, the, the Lord's gonna destroy you. Okay? So, but, you know, here it is. You didn't know. This man didn't tell you. You're still gonna get a ticket. But this man, he's gonna lose his job. AKA, get killed. Yep. By, by, in, 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 the, in the wars, in the, in the race wars, in the, uh, in the famine. Uh, something horrible because shit is about to pop off in America. There's, there's gonna be a million and one ways to die. You choose one. Or oh, the Lord will choose one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Isaiah 66 says, The Lord's gonna choose your delusion. Yeah, <laughs> God. He choose your death too. Yeah. yeah. The Lord's gonna choose the way you bug the hell out right before He takes you out, man. Yeah. There's gonna be people running around here like, like, like chickens with no heads, man. You can YouTube that. You people like to go on Google. Google a chicken with no head. That's how you people are gonna be out here when the, when the Lord brings His judgment. Yeah, to and fro. Yeah, yeah, yeah just running back. Just and forth. running until you drop, man. Until you bleed out. You see? And we and, and we use that as an analogy, but we're not trying to really we're not really trying to be funny. All right? 
Yeah, I know it looks it looks funny. Yeah, it's Halloween. We're dressed up. Yeah, I know. But guess what? We out here every week. Yeah, we out here. Every week. We dress the same way. We're telling you, we're telling you what's going on. Every week. No matter, it don't matter what time of the year is, in how season, hot, out of how season. cold. In season, out of season. We're out here in your face telling you, Multiple stop spots. it. Stop, stop the, what you're doing when you're coming to this thing. Otherwise, something bad, bad is going to happen to you. Your household is going to be destroyed. All right? Go ahead. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 19. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Right, because what? We gave him a, we gave him a fair warning. And that's all the Lord wants us to do. He, hey, the Lord said what? To, um, to prophesy to the women. Yeah. You know? So we're putting a vibration out there of Israel. You're Israelites. You so-called you so called black Spanish, Native Americans, all right? You're the Israelites, all right? This is this is uh this is the truth, all right? All right, we're letting you know we're getting, putting the vibration out there. We're even putting it up on the internet. All right, the wave, the uh, airwaves. So and it's and it stays there until Esau shuts it down. Okay, so we're doing our job. So our soul is gonna. What is that? Soul, soul is gonna be what? Delivered. Delivered. Yeah, you delivered thy soul. Yeah, you, yeah, you deliver thy soul. All right, but you're gonna die still. All right. So you can either you can either you can either come. You can either get the truth. Once you get the truth, you have no you you have an obligation now to go ahead and preach the word if you're a man. If you're a man If you're a man, you got nuts between your legs, you're supposed to come out here and preach the word once you get a clear understanding of it. Alright? That's what it is. The law called men. Oh, I'm gonna get that uh, um, proper eight four thing. I actually want to get that Proverbs 8 4 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proverbs 8 4 Yeah. This is Proverbs chapter 8 and 4, and it reads, Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is the son of men. No, it says, Unto you, yeah, unto, yeah, unto you, O men, I call. Right? Read it again. This is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call. Right? And my voice. Yeah. Go ahead, okay, finish off. Is, is the son of men. Right, you see that? The Lord called men out here. So if you're a man and you and you and you ran into the truth, you ran into the truth that you're an Israelite, you ran into the truth that the so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Alright? You are you are now obligated to preach this word to the rest of the nation, the Israel. All right, you're not obligated to come out here, put your body up as a living sacrifice to the Most High. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. He called you as a man. Son, what is it? A son? Uh, what is it? Son? Uh, 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 voice, uh, my voice is to the son of man. Yeah, my voice is to the sons of men. Okay, you hear that? He's talking to the sons. So these women, these women, you know. You hear the truth, yeah, you have an obligation too, but that obligation is to your men. And you men, your obligation is to the rest of the nation. You have, uh, more important to your house, by Hashem Yahusha. You have to preach this word. And, this, and, and that's going to get the blood off your hands. It's like the brother was just reading Ezekiel chapter 3. You out there, you out there preaching this word. Hey, if they hear, if they hear you, all right, good. Maybe they'll get up, maybe they'll come out of their wicked ways, but either way, the blood is off your hand because you warned them. You gave them a fair warning to the spirit. So what? Blood is off your hands, bro. You can do you can wash your hands like Pontius Pilate did. Alright? But if you don't do it, if you know the word here it is, you can, you've been warned. You got you got the fair warning. You may have did a little research on it, but you're gonna keep that all to yourself. Well guess what? That person who 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 walked by you in iniquity transgressing the laws, you didn't tell him, he's gonna still die, but your punk ass is gonna die too. He called the law called men. The law called men. 144,000 men. You understand? You got something, bro? Yeah, because, yeah, man, because at the end of the day, bro, we're looking, we're, we're, the, the Lord is, is, is building an army. Right now, it's spiritual. All right, they ain't, we ain't no men, we ain't no Israelites, men of the Lord out here, um, um, trying to build up an actual physical army out here. We'll get Maliwa, we'll get 
waffle stomped out here by Esau if he tried to build an army against this man. We'll get completely annihilated by Esau if we try to build an army right now. The Lord is building up a spiritual army of men. That's why we're reading a book. If you got a problem with us reading a book and you want us to go out there and pick up arms, then you know what? You can give us a thumbs down, you can report us to Esau, and you go pick up the arms and you do it. We're not doing that shit. You want to go ahead and be carnal? You go ahead and be carnal see how far that gets you. Black extremists. Yeah, we're not that fucking black shit. We're not no black goddamn extremists. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, Ezekiel 34. <laughs> this is Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 31. And ye, my flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your power, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. That's right. The flock of the Lord's pasture is men. And, and Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is our power. Okay? M women, we're the women's power. Well, let me, let me read off a verse so we know who, what men is talking about. Please. This is uh, Ezekiel 34 and 30. Thus, thus shall they know that I, Yahweh, their power am with them, and that they, even the house of Israel, are my people, saith Yahweh by Shai. Go ahead. And ye, my flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your power, saith Yahweh by Shai. There it is. So he's talking to the Israelites. He's talking to the men of Israel, the sons of Israel. That's why when you see the word children of Israel a lot, it really it's says bond. Yeah, bond. Yeah, yeah. Or son. Yeah, yeah, sons. Sons of Israel. Typically. All right? Well, majority of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably more of the time. I don't, I'm not sure. I haven't done that much of a diligent search, but when it says children of Israel, it's usually talking about the sons of Israel, okay? So, we have been called. All right? The flock of the Lord's pasture is men. And, when, and what, is the, what does the Lord always deal with? When, when he's talking about flocks, what he's talking about? He's talking about sheep, sheep. Right? Because that's the Lord's favorite uh, 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 favorite cattle. It's a sheep. All right? And so this, this is going to prove, we'll jump to the New Testament, and this is going to prove that the Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right? This is uh, John 10 and 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. So who is the sheep? The, the, the men of, of his flock of the pasture, men. The Israelites. Yeah, you got Israelites, you got Israelites walking up and down the block, right? You got people walking, no one at the Israelites. They've been cold at one point. Here it is, you got Israelites walking around with fringes on right before us. Yeah, fringes on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. them oh, judges shit. have fringes on. But he got dressed. Oh, yeah, 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 but he yeah, could have yeah. stopped to listen. And he just kept going. Probably going to trick or treat. That That's shit pisses, that shit irks me, bro. Here it is, you got a man, he just walked by the man of the Lord. man got fringes on his shirt. <laughs> hey, see, that goes to show you, man. That these niggas with fringes on their shirts bugged out, man. Ain't right. They're walking around with fringes on their shirt. Not doing no work. Nothing. Not doing no goddamn work. Just walk by the prophets, not even one word at it. I'll be here, you with your family, but still, man, I would have been like, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. So long, something. Yeah, something. You don't know, you don't see what this is? He just marked himself, man. You didn't see what this <laughs> is? You didn't see, you didn't walk by, you didn't see what this is? You didn't see the brother stand out here reading the Bible with the garments on, with the signs on the ground, with the Jesus with the horns on it. How did you know what, what what possessed you to put a, a t-shirt with fringes on it if 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 you don't understand what this man, is? He's not even about Israel, man. Or man. Yashar Allah. He ain't about the truth. No. He's, hey man, that's why a lot of these people calling themselves Israelites are gonna get put to death, man. That's right. Including women and children, man. Yeah. All gonna die, man. All gonna die because you playing with it. You're fucking playing with it, and the Lord's gonna deal with you. Because 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 of, of that dread. Dreadlock Rasta, man. His, his whole family gonna die, man. He didn't want to stop because he was with his family. Well, now his whole family gonna get put to death. Son, daughter, and his... You gotta check yourself, man. That's not that's not wisdom, man. And that's what when we when we read earlier, walk walk in wisdom to them that are without, man. That nigga just walked by with fringes on his shirt and just looked and kept walking like like this is a bus stop or something, man. I don't even know if the man even looked this way. Hey, we I seen him look this way, but you I, I didn't even seen, look at him. You have to have seen way. us. Yeah, he did. It's man. hard not to. <laughs> Shit. How could you not see us, bro? We on a corner by ourselves, speaking loudly. Like God with signs, fools. man. Come yeah. on, man. Come on, bro. There's no excuse for that. Now, now you're done. Now you're finished, bro. You can see us coming down the block, man. So, is that Israelites? Hey, man. If you put fringes on, you must be. You, you, 
Yeah, you're something in your spirit must be dying to run into Israelites. All right? Hey, that's why, that, hey man, that, but you can't really blame him. He's just a bugged out nigga that knows he's an Israelite. And that's why the Howard I said, do as they say, but not as they do. Because look, he's saying, he, you know, he probably, like the brother said, he probably IUIC. You got a good friend, Zach. Where's your friend, Zach? But look, man, it ain't not about the truth. He didn't come and inquire, oh, damn, I didn't know there was a camp out here, you know, what, what it? Nah, man. Because he knew, hey, the spirit, the spirit on him told him not to stop because he knew he was going to come up here and get cut up. And yeah, the angel just said, nope, nope, keep yeah. going, keep going, keep going. See that? Most eyes only dealing with those that are children of light, man. He ain't dealing with no bump niggas in the dark. He probably calls himself black. Yeah. Matter of fact, black you want to get, you get that, uh, that, go back to that Thessalonians real quick? You still got it? Yeah, uh, go, to, yeah, go to verse 4. Alright. This is 1 Thessalonians. Chapter 5, verse 4, and it reads, But ye brethren are not in darkness, that they should overtake you as a thief. Right, talking about us, all right? We don't walk in darkness, all right? So when that day comes, that day that we've been talking about, it's not gonna overtake us as a thief, Lord willing. We say Lord willing with the utmost humility, all right? But that day shouldn't take us as a thief, meaning that by surprise, in other words. Okay, hey, and it's not gonna take us by surprise, because we already know. That's the, that's the oh, that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the cook. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> got cooked. Uh, um, uh, uh, you finish your thought? Uh, what was I saying? Uh, uh, oh, because it, it's not going to catch us like a thief because we know. We're the ones telling people it's coming. And, I mean, if you get caught like a thief in the night, then you, hey, the Lord just ain't with you. You wasn't watching. You yeah. never gave a fuck. You were just, you were yeah. playing, you were playing the, uh, you know, you were, you were, you were talking the talk, but you weren't walking the walk. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You have some? Nah, go ahead. Oh, uh, go ahead, bro. Read that again and then read on. <clears throat> this is First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 4 and it reads but ye brethren are not in darkness that the day that the day should overtake you as a thief right verse 5 you are all the children of the light uh-huh and all the children of the day we are not of the night nor the darkness right we're day walkers out here okay we're children of the light you write that damn thing over here again. I'm gonna curse him. Yes. Read it again, brother. First five. First five. Another one. This is First Thessalonians, <laughs> chapter five. Boys, did I go by? Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. this continue. It, well, hold on. <laughs> Let so it go. Let, yeah, let yeah, it go. You know Esau with it. The handlebar mustache gonna yeah. rev it up. Another. Yeah, respect. He might be a chick. <laughs> <laughs> That's that motherfucker from the uh, diabetes commercial. Yeah, Hell the bar. Yeah, 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 yeah like that from the diabetes commercials. Man. Right, go ahead, read it again. This is uh, First Thessalonians chapter five, verse five. Right. We are all the children of the light, uh -huh. and of the children of the day. We are not the the night nor the darkness right we're not children of the night or of the darkness okay we work in the light not in the night we walk in the light okay and wisdom in other words for the layman man 